you've ever been to Red Rocks Amphitheater, you remember your experience with perfect clarity. Was it the lights, the smoke, the music, or the fresh air that made it so special? It may even have been the rich history that encompasses the venue. Or it could have been that when you were singing along and you looked down the stage, you, down the stage, you looked past the stage and saw the beautiful lights of Denver and realized that you were in a very special place. Whatever it was, you remember your experience, and that's because Red Rocks is magical. Artists ranging from the Beatles to U2 have experienced the magical atmosphere at Red Rocks, a place that is generally considered the most beautiful outdoor location in America. Whether an artist is just starting out and playing at coffee shops or a Grammy Award winning artist, every artist aspires to play on the stage. So for some brief history about, the, about Red Rocks, the spot was used by Ute Indians for hundreds of years because it was ideal for making music outdoors. It was used as a spiritual place where the Ute Indians would have rituals and offer sacrifices. The Indians gave it the name Garden of the Angels, and this name actually stuck all the way up until Denver bought out Red Rocks and gave it the official name of Red Rocks Amphitheater. This spot is great because it has natural acoustics, and it was actually once listed as one of the seven wonders of the world. The limestone rocks surrounding the, the stage create a perfect natural sound. There have been many famous, famous performances, the first of which was the Beatles in 1964. Despite the unsold tickets, the Beatles still set a box office record for Red Rocks. It was the first rock and roll performance, and this shows actually the reason why, why, um, why oxygen canisters were put around the stage, because when they were dancing around and singing, they realized that they were out of breath because of the high altitude, and so while they were performing, people were putting oxygen canisters around the stage, and those are still there today. Another notable performance was U2 singing Sunday Bloody Sunday, Fender Instruments Corporation claims that this is one of the most iconic images in rock and roll history. The image announced the arrival of U2, U2 and their warrior rock band to America and the rest of the world, and the concert itself became an absolute legend. U2 attributes a large portion of the band's success to this, to this, um, this performance because it went completely viral, and the performance is included in Rolling Stone's list of 50 greatest moments in rock and roll. Grateful Dead also loves to play at Red Rocks, and they've named this place their very favorite place to play, and every time they go on a tour, they make sure that Red Rocks is one of their stops. My experience at Red Rocks is what makes this topic so special. Uh, the first time I went, it was Mumford & Sons, and it's actually kind of cool because this was the performance that they're making a documentary about. And so, the first U.S. tour that they went on, they played at all the traditional concert locations, and they realized that this just, it wasn't fulfilling what they were thinking was gonna, what it was gonna be like. And so the next tour, they decided to play at places like Red Rock, so unique, like outdoor locations that, um, and their final destination was Red Rocks. And so the whole documentary leads up to their performance and it was just absolutely amazing. And my second was, my second time going was Imagine Dragons. And my favorite moment was when the lead singer he, they shined the light on the crowd so he could see all the people, and he, he just turned immediately around and looked at his band, and he started crying because this was one of their dreams um, to play Redbox, and so he was just explaining to the crowd, he said, this is our dream, like, we wanted to do this for so long, and I can't believe it's actually happening, and that's when I realized that there is something really different about Redbox than, say, like, Pepsi Center or one of the traditional concert locations. One of my favorite quotes about Red Box is by Ringo Starr, quoted in U.S. Travel, and he said, A show at Red Box Amphitheater is worth any journey to get there. The world's best musicians has gra have graced this historic venue. If you are not in Colorado, fly or drive to catch what will likely be the performance of a lifetime. In conclusion, Red Box has become famous for its perfect acoustics, 300 million year old natural setting, and stellar musical performances. It has hosted every genre, from hard rock to rap to reggae. If you have not had the chance to experience the magic, I urge you that it is 100% worth the drive and money. If your experience is anything like mine, you will never forget the nights you spent at Red Box Amphitheater. Thank you.